By the way, when you bond with a dragon, you get certain powers. Did she get light powers? She got lightning. How did you know that? Because he has shadow powers. Oh my god! This is so stupid! I could have wrote this book. <laughs> she grew up here, right? She grew up here. And she doesn't know all the like, hidden passageways? She does all... not. Come on. I missed know. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity! That would have helped with the poison. I'm saying. If you were gonna get dragon powers, wouldn't it make sense to have like harder skin? Being able to, I don't know, breathe fire. Something that was like a dragon? Yeah. Yeah. Grow a tail. <laughs> Lie. Have sharper teeth. Nope. I got the refilling pen powder. <laughs> Okay, I'm so excited. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rachel. This is my husband Carlos, and today I'm going to tell him what happened in Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Are you very excited? Mm -hmm. I already know the whole book. What do you know about this book? But this leg is still fucked Are up. Are you kidding? All right, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What do you know about Fourth Wing? Has dragons. Did you just look at the cover? No, you told me. Okay. Ex do you know anything else? Today we're going to be explaining Fourth Wing to, Re what? to Carlos by Rebecca Yaros, uh, who doesn't know anything. This is a terrible book, and I did not have fun reading it, but I did have fun making fun of parts of it with him, so I thought I would share that experience with all of you. Fourth Wing is about a girl named Violet Soren Gale. It's a totally normal name. Okay. This is a book all set right. in- <sighs> That was good. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. This is a world called The Continent. Oh. Yeah. Okay, it's an island. It's a continent. Yep, it's an island. Um, and we are only setting in Basgaith War College. Just one house? It is one place, and I just want to point out to you that this is the infantry. Okay. This is the scribe quadrant, this is the healer quadrant, and this is the rider's quadrant. Is that, is that the bridge that they have to... No, okay, so we... Do they, do they have to kill each other on the bridge? No, no it's not the killing bridge. No. Okay, so we start out, Violet Sorengale is told by her mom, whose name is Lilith, which is probably a religious thing. Who knows? No, no, no. I don't, there's no Lilith in, in fundamentalism. So Lilith Sorengale is like, you bitch are going to the writer's quadrant instead of the scribe quadrant, which I just want to remind you is this teeny tiny building over here, which is somehow bigger than the infantry. Is that the East Wing? <laughs> mm -hmm. Like from Beauty and the Beast. So the infantry is this tiny little building. This entire building is General Sorengale's office, which is half the size of the infantry. Okay, is so... Is singular office? It, it is a singular office. What's his rank? Her. It's Lilith Her Sorengale. Rank? General. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So, she runs the War College. You're allowed to smoke here, sir. It's fine. Okay, so her mom and her sister are fighting, and her sister's <clears throat> like, you bitch, you're sending Violet, who is frail and weak, off to the rider's quadrant, and Violet's like, hey, what the fuck? I can hear you. Uh, and they're like, concerned. Well, she's concerned about her sister because her sister has Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which is like a ligament issue. So her shit just like slips out of place. Except when she's having sex, which doesn't make sense to me. It's the endorphins. <laughs> All right. So her mom's like, uh, uh, you're pale and frail and stupid and you're going to the white riders quadrant which I just want to point out is larger than the infantry she goes and it says that they send their best and brightest to this war college which is like an officer officer training school but also it's conscription so it's like a draft oh. you have to go in that makes sense but how can it be best and brightest <laughs> And also conscription. So is everyone the best and brightest? Like you're way too smart. You're going now. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Is that an A? You're drafted. <laughs> Weren't you already drafted? Yes. You're drafted harder. You're extra drafted. So you go, and when you go to the writer's quadrant, you have to walk across this thing called the parapet, which is this long ass bridge that if you fall off, too fucking bad. Intrusive thoughts. <laughs> 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 I want to go to this fucking school. <laughs> and Violet just wanted to go to the scribe quadrant, allegedly. So she's like, oh shit, I have to walk across this parapet. <clears throat> she meets this other girl named Rhiannon, and she's like, you give me one of your shoes, and I'll give you one of my shoes, even though they're too big for you. And we, because one of us each has a rubber shoe, will not fall off this parapet. These magic shoes? <laughs> rubber. Makes sense. It's that tracks. <laughs> Before she, before she even gets on this parapet, her sister's like, do not have sex with my husband. 
Just kidding. Her who? <laughs> she said, stay away from Zayden Ryers Ryerson, which is impossible because you're in I know, school together. I know together. he's in your class. Don't, don't, don't be in there. She has no control over don't the situation, but somehow she's supposed to stay away from an upperclassman who's in charge. Zayden Ryerson is the guy. Is he popular? <laughs> he's popular. <isn't> he? <laughs> He's kind of unavoidable. He's 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 a little unavoidable. Does he have a lot of descriptors, but you don't know what he looks like? That's the guy. That's yeah, the one. That's the guy. So she's like, find your friend Dane. And um, then it, it explains that this is the most exquisite man she's ever seen. Living in the war college means she's seen a lot of men. Which men? Which men have you been seeing? If you're living at the war college already, who have you been seeing if it's not this man? <laughs> Wait, she has to go to school at her house? She lives there. Full time. And she still got drafted? <laughs> She still got drafted. They yes. know. They know. Uh, all right. So you can choose which which faction you go into. Sorry, I got some. You can go to the shitty ass tiny infantry. Apparently, it's tiny. You can go to the scribes. You can go to the healers. Or you can try to go to the riders quadrant mm. and ride a dragon. But for some reason, they don't actually give a fuck about anybody who enters the riders quadrant. So her sister's like, "Don't talk to Zayden Ryder Ryerson." And who is this guy to her? So he. Her sister's husband. No, <laughs> that was a joke. Oh. <laughs> Good joke. And her sister was a witch. <laughs> <laughs> so he is the son of a guy who was like trying to stage a coup. Okay. So he is a rebeller's son Hell and yeah. is in a position of power in the most powerful part of their army. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so coup from the inside. Coup from the inside. So she she sees Zayden Ryerson immediately after her sister. Would have never guessed. Is, it, mm -hmm. Would have never guessed. And he is uh, tall with wind bone, black hair, gold flecked on its eyes, uh, astonishingly perfect features, uh, gets you in trouble and you like it level of hot. So she she just saw him in passing. Did she, she like? <laughs> like I don't yeah, know. That's, that's gold flecked. I don't know mm -hmm. how she got that close to his face, but she also says that. Um, she just has to like fucking crane her neck to see him because she's so small and he is so large. Mm -hmm. So naturally, why her, is that always a thing? Her I heart, suppose. I don't know. I I don't I don't know. Her heart thunders for all the wrong reasons. I look up and up. He's massive. He has to be more than four inches over six feet tall. Why don't they just say six four? Thank you, thank you. So it's he's be like, like at least six four. <laughs> Oddly specific. <laughs> so he says, your general Sorengale's youngest, your Fen Ryerson's son. She your knows. mother captured my father and oversaw his execution. And he's like, uh, yeah, well, you're, and, and she's like, yeah, well, your dad killed my brother. So we're even. Well, and my he's dad like, can beat up your dad. <laughs> And he's like, no, we're not even. So she like four foot three? Then? She's like, you remember my grandma? Like as big as my grandma, apparently. So okay. small, <laughs> small as fuck. She met some dude on the parapet whose name I don't remember. I think it's Devin. He immediately dies, right? She also met Zayden and Rhiannon. Zayden is not there to cross the parapet because he's already in the college. All the first years have to cross the parapet. Okay. So she's going. It's and the this, first, first It's step. the first day. This first, is the, the first step. It's the first step. Yeah. yeah. So they're like... Day one, you may die. Yeah. Well, day every day, you might die for any oh, reason. Oh, yeah, they can kill each other. They can kill each yeah. other. All right, we'll get there. Okay, yeah. That's so she like says a prayer to the god of luck, which like randomly comes up because the religion makes no sense in here. What's his name or her name? Zenal. The god of luck? Yeah, mm. Zenal. I don't know. And then she exposits all this shit about the continent and this is how this woman world built. The continent is home to two kingdoms. We've been at war for 400 years, I recite. So this is how she's choosing to give you all of the information about this world, which who, is a terrible who is she idea. Saying that to? Herself. Okay. This is what she's doing is she's like not even in her head just No, out loud. I would have pushed her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this the thing is Jesus. there's a guy on Could the Could you imagine bed. being in front of her when she's just <laughs> We've been at war for Shut years. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> We're literally about to die. Somebody fucking push her. Okay, well, there's this guy named Jack also on the parapet, and he just decides that he's going to be the Draco Malfoy of this school and be a pain in the ass. So he's just like, I'm going to fucking kill you, Soren Gale. And she's like, not if I run away quickly first. So. With one shoe. <laughs> with, with, 
no with traction. two different shoes. No traction. She at has all. traction on one shoe. Oh, okay. Special rubber. So she just exposits all of this information about uh, the the continent that they live on for like all these pages, and he's like, "You're next, Soren Gale." This dude Jack is coming for her, right? They get. Does off he have the normal shoes or rubber shoes? <laughs> I believe that he has uh, normal shoes. Oh shit! This is getting good. I know. And so they get to the end of the parapet, and he's about to like push her, and she puts a knife to his balls, and he's like, "Oh." Where'd she get a knife? So her sister was a witch. Just kidding. Her sister strapped her up with all kinds of shit, knives. She made <laughs> she made Violet her sister made her take out all of her books and instead gave her a bunch of shit to like help her because you're allowed to bring like what the fuck ever as long as it fits on you and then nobody can steal it because they're against stealing in the school but they're not against you killing each other. Well, all right. Makes sense. Because there's something called the Codex which is like the UCMJ. What's that? The United States Code of Military Justice. These dragons all have names like Dagger Tail, Morning Star Tail, Scorpion Tail. Was on like Club Tail? Club Tail. Yeah. Sword Tail. So they're just called a color weapon Tree tail. Tree tail. <laughs> Throwing Star Tail. Pink rubber shoe <laughs> tail. Lego Tail. <laughs> you step on one of those bitches. I just don't understand why the dragons wouldn't name themselves because later in the book, the dragons are like, I am Tiernanok of the blah 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 line. And it's like, okay, but y'all don't name yourselves? You've been letting me call you Club Tail for this long? <laughs> And she's like, if Jack wants to kill me after they get off the parapet, he needs to get in line. Besides, I have a feeling Zayden Ryerson is going to beat him to it. Yeah, because you were explicitly told that Zayden Ryerson's trying to kill you. Except, no, he's not. <laughs> because no, Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. No, he's not. Oh my god. Try to kill me? Are you flirting with me? <laughs> She sees her friend Dane and he's immediately like, damn it, Violet, because he's paternalistic. So we mm. know that he's not the right choice for her, yeah. which, boo, <clears throat> that sucks. Yeah, um, you really want to make sure you, ha you you find the one that wants to kill you <laughs> and obsess over it for years. We get a Look at us. <laughs> We get a lot of uh, characters that mean absolutely nothing, like this guy named Rydok. I don't fucking know. So in this college, like what? <laughs> it's Rydok. <laughs> college there's four wings even though dragons only have two three sections Debatable. and then three squadrons what yeah okay <laughs> Zayden makes it so that she ends up in fourth wing under his command oh and dane the, the other book. guy is her squad leader Sorry. section leader i don't know one of those so both of them are in charge of her but Zayden's the most in charge because uh, he's the most manly yeah it's, it's, it's her boss's boss. This is really right. Okay, so every day in this war college, they take certain classes. One of those classes is hand-to-hand -hand combat. One of those classes is history, which we never see. And one of those classes is battle brief. For some reason, the like physical stuff, like learning to go around terrain and stuff, is not something they do every day. And when they're asked, when they ask, like, why would we not do the gauntlet and test that out beforehand? They're like, the element of surprise! Like... <laughs> It's that, <laughs> but we knew that this was coming and they still did not lead up to it. It makes no sense. And it doesn't make sense because some of these recruits are recycled because a dragon never picked them. That's sad. <laughs> it's, it is depressing. <laughs> Imagine being like. It's like your fourth year. <laughs> just don't like me. They do. <laughs> she got one. She's four foot three. <laughs> Has one rubber boot. Wait, but she doesn't just get one dragon. She gets two. That's bullshit. That's <laughs> bullshit. Meanwhile, some of these bitches get recycled because no dragon wants them. Go jump off that bridge. <laughs> She's gonna... <laughs> The parapet's looking pretty good right now. <laughs> okay, so the dragons at any point can just incinerate them, uh -huh, yeah. which doesn't seem like a very good setup. It's the most accurate thing you've said so far. <laughs> I feel like that no, makes but the, like that makes the most sense. So there's anyway. no rules against that, even though they are 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 together working together against the Griffins, our tiny dragon. Speaking of being chosen. <laughs> So it does not really make sense that they're fighting against griffins, which are significantly smaller than dragons, right? Mm -hmm. Yet they they can just kill the humans. So my question throughout reading this entire thing is, why would the dragons not just enslave the humans? I mean, they can speak. They're, they're, they're... <laughs> well, they can only speak to their to each other and to the the people that they yeah, bond with. Yeah, they can talk with. to each other. Why are they being yeah, they're enslaved an intelligent, by anyone? They're an intelligent species. So why are they not enslaving the humans? I like you. <laughs> 
So her mom never really pops up and you wonder why the whole book, why did her mom make her switch from going into the scribe quadrant into the writer's quadrant? You never get an answer for that. Her mom just said, go. She she has to do battle brief every day. The, they're not intermingling with the other parts of this college, which doesn't really make any sense because you're all part of the same army. So why would you not have the scribes and the healers and the infantry and the, the writers all working together, which we, you would think would make for a better army they just they'll get together later <laughs> True. and so they're supposed she... to actually compete against those other jobs to help like build that uh what's it called uh camaraderie not just that but like um competitiveness i don't know <laughs> like your pride in your job and like thinking that your job's the best yeah it's just competition yeah. i just want you to compete because competition makes everyone better iron sharpens iron yeah it just it, it would make sense that if they're trying to figure out and like some of the scribes are their teachers but they're not having other scribes in their battle brief classes to like offer information it's just poorly organized it's just poorly organized and like how it, <laughs> no wonder we haven't won this war against the griffins and their riders yet you guys are really bad at this yeah. first you can't <laughs> off half of your people you kill them exactly and then it's like shit now i gotta draft some but only these people are, are drafted like they wouldn't have to do a draft <clears throat> they would maybe just leave people make alive a, make a bigger bridge to get there <laughs> start off maybe tell them don't kill each other maybe tell the dragons not to roast them alive probably in hand-to-hand -hand combat she can't win against people because she has ehlers danlos syndrome her like knee will slip out of place randomly but also definitely in combat she decides the most effective way for her she was drafted the right. most e effective way for her to win is to deception poison people mm. and she finds out that they pick out who you're going to go up against beforehand mm. because her brother left her and her sister a book all about the war college very conveniently so, so she knows who she's going to compete against yeah so she like goes to she the office psychic. no like the office where the the people oh. are in charge like they'll like plot out like violet's going to be up against Orin. she finds out who she's going to go up against and then she poisons them one by one week after week it's which is incredibly suspicious no wonder she got two dragons <laughs> smart <laughs> don't give her credit <laughs> don't give her credit for anything i think she's gonna enter a fight she can't win i, I think she has to I'm just, yeah i just quoted myself <laughs> from your previous video oh shit you're right <laughs> she finds out she's gonna fight the first fight she has to go she's like all right i'm gonna go find some poison so she climbs a tree that she's already familiar with because again she lives there all year round mm -hmm. for the last five years and she needed a book to tell her what goes on there <laughs> So she somehow never saw these people, right? But Zayden and the rest of the kids whose parents rebelled are not supposed to meet up together in groups of more than two because that's conspiracy against the capital and they that's a capital offense and they'll get executed if they hang yeah. out. Can't have group lunches? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no wonder they're losing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't allow them to hang out. Why do you allow <clears throat> them in positions of power? Yeah. She is climbing this tree to get this poison thing so that she can poison the guy she's supposed to go up against. And who should be meeting up under this tree but all these rebellers' kids? And she's like, oh shit. Oh, snap. A plot is afoot. And no they one are, looked up. They, <laughs> no. <laughs> not a single one of them. It's a healthy tree. The worst army ever. <laughs> And they're, they're talking and they're saying stuff that is like obviously suspicious and she's like, nothing's going on here. This is fine. This seems really normal. Who should find out that she's there? Do you want to get? Draco. <laughs> no. Oh. Zayden, the, mm. the, the, the guy that... The looker. The looker. Yeah. The key one. Did everybody walk away and then he goes and like looks up? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you were there all along. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like the train scene. Mm -hmm. But you do want to guess what kind of magic he has? No. Shadows. Oh. Ah, it's so should, annoying. I guess gonna say his dick. <laughs> That too. So so they like make a deal <clears throat> that they won't talk about the fact that like she's getting poison and he's been hanging out with people because that again is a capital offense. It is a capital offense. You can't have two friends <laughs> at the same time. You can only have one best friend. But it doesn't how does it make sense? That you can kill the general's daughter over a feud between your families, but you can't hang out with your friends. That's fair. 
she still thinks at this point that he's he's gonna try to kill her at no point has he ever tried to kill her she's like he's out to kill me he's gonna kill me she goes and fights the guy she poisons him by sprinkling shit over his eggs and he conks I, I don't I don't know she somehow got in uh, on lunch duty she does this week after week and nobody figures it out except everybody keeps getting sick <laughs> crazy it's the weirdest coincidence she's snake the weirdest coincidence and who should figure it out zayden the love i would interest. never guess yeah it's him it's he him seems to be sure. the most observant person <laughs> he's the school. only competent person in the army and he is the son of the rebellion person set up for failure I would have never, never seen that coming. They do the gauntlet, and she wins, but only by cheating. Except it's not cheating. But yeah, it's fine. Because again, there's no yeah. rules here. I don't want them weak. I don't want them, <laughs> don't want them weak people that can't take poison. You need a strong <laughs> stomach to, be, to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> no, she does the gauntlet, like the physical thing uh, that they just threw. Except the only person who, who it wasn't thrust upon is everybody who's been recycled. So like all the people who got recycled have been doing it before. So it's not new to them. The that guy works. who got recycled obviously knows how the gauntlet works because he's done it before. So the idea that they have to be surprised by it is moot. So <clears throat> she cheats to get through the gauntlet and this girl Amber is like, she cheated and Violet's like, no, I fucking didn't because I brought those knives with me so therefore they're part of my person so what can't be part of your person like why isn't that the norm what wouldn't you bring with you in order to cheat flamethrower <laughs> it's my person i'm bringing what if what if they're part of the rebellion and they just i don't know bring a gun <laughs> I don't know if there's guns in this world. Yeah. It says at one point he's oh, off yeah. like a shot, yeah, it's but not, it's not that one author. <laughs> Otherwise, there might be guns. They go to the dragon presentation, where they present themselves to the dragons, and there's a feather tail, which is a teeny tiny little dragon with feather tail instead of a. Could you bring him in on your person? Can you? Bring I don't him? see why not. Can you bring the dragon in on your person? I do not see why not. Oh, wow. I'm bringing a tank across that parapet. I'm doing my own <laughs> shit. That's part of my person. <laughs> it's not cheating. I brought it with me. There's a feather tail, and it's golden, and it's the special dragon. Mm. But it's basically worthless because it's like a puppy it's not mean it's not violent but why would the other dragon can't even ride it you just leash it yeah so but well why would the other dragons allow a feather tail to even show up at presentation mm -hmm. if they only value violence it doesn't make sense a bunch of kids get roasted just for by the feather tail no <laughs> no that's the non-violent dragon a bunch of kids get roasted by random ass dragons then they go to the i forget what it's called the day they get their dragons how to train your dragon day where the dragon are gonna pick you and also you're allowed to fucking fight each other to the death over the dragon do just the dragons over... just watch like yes and so do the second and third years so they're not supposed to interfere the second and third years they're supposed to watch so dane the, the patriarchal guy is like oh violet i'm gonna have to watch you die you should just go to the scribe quadrant so that i don't have to watch you die not only wants to watch <laughs> satan has a dragon it's a big ass blue dragon okay there's a bunch of dragons that are like mythical. Does he wear a lot of black? Does! He does wear a lot of black. He's basically four from Divergent. Okay. Yeah. God. <laughs> So this is Divergent fanfic. Like you can see Veronica really? Roth all over this. Mm -hmm. It's not like official, but it's like Divergent <coughs> meets- I'm so glad that I'm reading it right now. <laughs> it's like Divergent meets How to Train Your Dragon. You're welcome. This is the best version of the audiobook. The audiobook narrator we all think was sick because you can hear her having like congestion. I'm sick right now. I, I, I feel that. <laughs> you would do a better job right now than, than she did with this audiobook. Thanks. They are in this, I don't know, field or some shit. And Jack, the guy who fucking hates her for no reason, comes after the feather tail. He's like, I'm gonna fucking kill that thing. I hate that thing. It's stupid. I don't like it. He's gonna it. kill it? He's gonna kill it. For, for looking at him weird? <laughs> like, what, what? For no. being small? For being weak. I he just like, kicked the Oh, it's okay. He, think, he thinks that it's weak. He's like, I'm gonna kill it off because it's a weak link. Because in, in this school, you're allowed to kill anybody just based on what you think is, is a liability, is what it says. If you mm. think that somebody else is a liability, you get to kill them. Guarantee you he never held the flashlight properly for his father. 
what that sounds like. He comes after the feather tail and Violet's like, no, stop. And she defends the feather tail. He's like, good. I'm going to take out both of you because both of you are weak. Woman hater. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah. I called the, it. The golden dragon is a little, is a, is a woman. <clears throat> they, so who should show up? Zayden. Yeah. It's Zayden. Yeah, it's Zayden. He's not supposed to be there. No, but he's not supposed to care. He's not supposed to care. He's For supposed some to... reason. And she's still at the moment thinking, oh, he's going to kill me. And it's like... <laughs> he kills the guy. She's mine. Kill, <laughs> not yours. I broke the rules just so I could kill her in the most inconvenient, rule-breaking way possible, actually. Doesn't make sense. So he he's like, all right, I can't interfere, but I can give her instructions on how to avoid getting killed by you. So they get into a fight, and she throws a knife at Jack immediately and he's like oh my shoulder I can't fucking move the other guy who's with him tries to come they, they all get in a fight right oh I'm seeing some other links here Violet gets defended by not the feather tail obviously but this big ass biggest dragon that there ever was black dragon black morning oh, star tail pissed. <laughs> no he wants that one no because this <laughs> he has a big ass blue dragon <laughs> And his dragon is a it's a female and is mated to this big ass black dragon. Oh, I would have never guessed. <laughs> So the big ass black dragon decides, I choose you. Like he decides that Violet is his Pokemon. And is that how Pokemon works? Nope. So he decides that that he's bonded with, with Violet. <clears throat> but so is the fucking golden feather tail. Two dragons. Yeah, but like, come on. <laughs> it's a feather tail. There's not. <laughs> Basically a cat. <laughs> It's basically a cat. At one point she says, use your claws. Oh, you don't have any. Are those paws? You have paws? Cute little lizard. It's a little, it's a little baby lizard. She gets on the black dragon who incinerates one of the dudes coming after her because again, there's no rules for the dragons. She gets on and immediately- Fuck the war. Yeah. You know, she, immediately she falls off of him and she's like, I never trained in a way that would have prepared me for sitting on a, a dragon as big as him. And I'm like, wait a minute, you never had had any class in this entire book about sitting on a fucking dragon. She rode a horse once. <laughs> Felt like it's kind of similar. No, but she's like, well, we had classes. Bitch, when? Bitch, when? You were out here poisoning people for nine weeks. I that, never was, saw a class. It was after school. It was summer camp. <laughs> extra when curricular. She was a kid. <laughs> it was a little coin machine. <laughs> like the ones outside the grocery <laughs> yep. store. She grew up here, right? She grew up here. And she doesn't know all the like, hidden passageways. She does all... not. Come on. I missed know. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. That would have helped with the poison. I'm saying. He's bigger than every model we practiced on. Apparently they were practicing on models. News to me. It's the first time it's ever coming up. It's an afterthought. His name is, um, by the way, he says to her, step aside, silver one. That's because she has two-toned hair. It's... Oh, this, is this a fantasy? There's dragons. <laughs> No, it's not fiction. No, I, I, yeah, because that's my a, point. It's a fantasy, so they, naturally, they white hair. The, the the main character has to have white hair. Yeah. Yes. My name is Ternanox, son of Mert. Descended from the cunning Dumadin. There's, there's no way. Which, this is actually Gaelic. This is their names. Then why don't they also get to name what type of dragon they are? They're an intelligent species. <laughs> they don't have names for themselves? Please. People white in this book? <laughs> Everybody's white, except Zayden. He's ambiguously brown. Found your reason. Ambiguously brown. Ambiguously. She falls, he catches her, right? Her dragon and his dragon are mated. You would think like, oh, that means, ah, oh, that's a bummer. They're going to have to work together. You know, now they, they can't kill each other because you know that's gonna affect their their dragon bonding is gonna affect each other by the way when you bond with a dragon you get certain powers did she get light powers she got lightning how did you know that because he has shadow powers oh my god this is so stupid i could have wrote this book when you drop bond with a dragon you can ramp up your speed you can open locked doors how and also, you can power up pens. Pens? Pens. Is it like a ballpoint <laughs> quill? <laughs> that, is that it? <laughs> That's it. But you also get a special signet power. Like, what the hell is the pen thing about? I don't, I don't Like, who know. discovered that? They were just That's like, what I said! <laughs> Damn! Damn, I'm writing like a just, fucking champ! Just refill? Hold on, <laughs> let, me, let me use my speed real quick. <laughs> But so powering dumb. up That's so stupid. <laughs> but powering up pens is never actually explained. Like I don't know what that means. Does no, it mean you write quicker? Does no. it mean you refill the ink yourself? It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking pen. It matters to me because I don't understand what the fuck is going Listen, on. We need the power to refill our wine glass. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> refill our fucking pen. Well, if you were going to get dragon powers, wouldn't it make sense to have like harder skin? Being able to, I don't know, breathe fire. Something that was like a dragon? Yeah. Yeah. Grow a tail. <laughs> Lie. Have sharper teeth. Nope. I got the refilling pen powder. <laughs> wondering like what happened before pens were invented what were they powering yeah. up what power do you have speed what power do you have i can refill my big <laughs> shut up jerry like in family guy for the powers and <laughs> meg's powers she can grow her nails <laughs> So I just, how did you, how did, how did they figure that out? And also like lo unlocking doors, what use does a dragon have for unlocking a door? Does a yeah, I completely <laughs> saw it, like completely ignored that one with, with the pens. <laughs> that, that's how they, they did that on purpose. <laughs> like, like, they won't think about the dragons unlocking doors if we make something stupid up. <laughs> what's stupider? What's, even, what's dumber? <laughs> does it ever, is it ever useful? Like is somebody like, oh man, my pen. No. I need to sign this document or the war is gonna continue she randomly says while sitting in battle brief class can't wait to use those really fancy pens my mom has that are out of ink <laughs> they ran out back when i was 12 I'm so glad I, this is why she wanted me to be a track and writer <laughs> <laughs> she, it was about the ink shortage. <laughs> no, her mom is a dragon writer too. Oh, so she could refill the pens. She can refill her own pens. Yeah. So why does she need her daughter to refill? I didn't pens? know that. I'm doing a great job explaining. Uh, I get this. that. That's why she's stationed there her whole life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So her mom again executed Zayden's dad. Okay, mm. it's gonna be important in a second. Okay, so her dragon and Zayden's dragon are bonded. I feel like they did this on purpose. You would. The dragons want the war to end. <laughs> I, I, well, speaking of dragons wanting, what do the dragons want each other? And the thing about that is when that happens, um, for some reason, when the dragons get horny. <laughs> There's a horny link? She's like, oh my God. Oh, our dragons are horny right now. Yes, Dang literally. <laughs> literally when, when their dragons I'm gonna are hate horny. This. They get horny, right? So she was hanging out with her friend Liam, and she's like, I need to go and be away from you. And who does she stumble into? Zayden. Shadow Daddy. Also, don't call him that. <laughs> no. He is also horny, and he's smoking what I assume to be pot in this world, but it's not called pot. They have reusable, somehow, magic oh, they pens. Oh, they have vapes? But they have- That's what they're refilling. <laughs> Oh shit, that power's not that bad. They talk about them being all mutually horny and it's just, I'm just, I just sat there and wondered why you, you needed <clears throat> to, why you would, why? They can't be horny alone. <laughs> Who else are you gonna complain to? Oh man, our dragons again, right? <laughs> Anyway, they do kiss. Um, of course. Naturally. And he's oh, like, so gross. He's like, oh, it's such a mistake. So gross, but like. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a shame if we did it again. I would hate that. <laughs> This is after, by the way, they he he figured out that she was, you know, poisoning literally everybody. He decided, I'm actually gonna step in for for the fight today. And he's like, he's like, you know, no. fighting her. They got horny. And they she's literally getting horny while while they while and they're fight? they're fighting. Jeez. And he's like, that you you need to like go for the kill shot. Like this is a good angle. And she's like, oh, I'm thinking about other things that are a good fit at this angle. And I'm like. <laughs> Ma'am, he could break your neck right now. Shut the fuck up. I mean... Not break your neck in a horny way. Break your neck in a literal way. Oh, okay. Stop choking me. <laughs> so he he ends up, of course, not at all being evil. But he talks about himself mm. as if he's terrible. So you know something is coming, like something's going to be revealed, right? It's obvious what it is because we had that moment under the tree where he was like talking to his fellow compatriots and they were all being like really obvious that something is going on mm -hmm. and they weren't supposed to be meeting. Crab and and she was like, gee, I... <laughs> Gee, I wonder what could be going on. They eventually have sex, and <sighs> I just don't really understand, like... Pulling their pants on, like, I hate you. <laughs> I just don't really understand, like... I mean, good on Rebecca Yaros for, like, actually using the word clit in this book, mm -hmm. because... The hell's that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because other authors don't have the guts, do not have the noise to do it. And she did, and I appreciate that. What I don't really understand is like why every time people in, in fantasy books like this are having sex, every sexual experience is like the greatest sexual experience of all time. It's like a religious experience. Oh my God, I saw Jesus, angels descended, the heavens opened up, Oh! Every like, woman deserves a female. <laughs> 
and the dude's dick is the biggest dick they've ever seen Huge. and she's like the tightest vagina of all time and every it's, it's velvety <laughs> it's velvet wrapped steel mixed with you know slick heat which is disgusting there's always slam to the hill and apex of her she's, thighs and she's five foot two she's always tiny yeah. and, and, like a child it's weird and he's always enormous yeah. like a fucking giant i just it's weird it's it's weird how it's written it's uncomfortable because i feel like it's playing into like weird gender roles that i don't like or subscribe to like and subscribe <laughs> and also i don't really understand how like she's been dealing with her ehlers danlos syndrome but like when they are having like really rambunctious ass sex Gymnastic not ass sex. sex but like like having rambunctious sex she's not worried about getting hurt and i thought that we were gonna have a conversation about that and i was like really confused by that how like they're like all over the fucking place they're breaking fucking furniture their lightning is going off because she has lightning powers that came out during sex but like she's fine so i don't know like i thought that you know how they say like you know you're gonna get your back blown out i thought that something like similar happened. to that was like gonna happen in like a literal sense it did not so you're saying you're a little shocked was that an electricity joke mm -hmm. Oh my god. Well, that, that, that's the thing is that the lightning's going <coughs> off. They fucking ruin this room. The lightning ends up outside, burn down a bunch of trees, and they are not the ones who have to clean that shit up. It's not their fault. They were just having sex. If somebody is having sex and burns down a small forest and I have to clean it up, I'm going to be fucking mad. I'm going to feel... I'm, I'm going to be fucking mad. If I'm having sex and I accidentally burn a forest, I'm going to be like, damn, who did that? <laughs> That's crazy. What the hell? Not you not taking accountability for burning down a forest. Well, uh, I wasn't the one with the electricity. So he's like, I do not want a relationship with you, Violet. I, this is just sex because I am a terrible person. And she's like, got it. I'm in love with you. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad. I guess she could, he couldn't tell her. He couldn't tell her why. Yeah, he's, he's not going to tell her why he mm. thinks he's terrible. Because mm. why would we not save that for the because end? Because then he wouldn't be a mystery and no longer hot. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So. It's like not even a big deal. He just. She's bonded a, with two dragons. He has a teacup collection he's embarrassed about or something. <laughs> we get to the end. Who the fuck is Dreyfus? I don't even remember. Did you make it to the end? I did. Oh. I did. Unfortunately. <laughs> I wish I wish that this book had taken me out because oh man did it end me. At some point Zayden has killed Jack by the way. Draco Malfoy he uh -huh. killed him because he came after Violet so like obviously he cares about her and was never gonna kill her in the first place so like why her sister warned her at the beginning of the book he'll kill you. I don't she wanted him for <laughs> That guy is an anomaly. He knows where the clit is. Yeah, true. She wanted him for himself, for herself. The thing about this is that the tagline on the front of the book says, fly or die. But they are not called flyers. They are called riders. Okay? Okay. So at the end of the, at, towards the end of the book, there is some sort of battle. I fucking forget. Dane betrays her. He touches her face and rips her memories from her. Bastard. Yeah. Total asshole. Has been an asshole the whole time. There was never a love triangle. He was always shit. They at one point kissed and she was like, wow, I feel nothing. Oh my God, I'm shocked. No lightning. He didn't burn down a, we didn't burn down a forest when we kissed. It's not the same. You're just not a mystery. <laughs> You're not mysterious and ambiguously brown. Is that why he became a bad boy? <laughs> you're, you're just not a bad boy. Oh, I could be a bad boy. Betrayal. Yeah. So he's an incel. Dane? Yeah. It, well, he does say, he's like, I just, I don't have time for this. I'm like, you know, so dedicated to my work and you're a distraction. She's like, oh, thank God, because I feel he's nothing. Like, no, 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 that meant... <laughs> No, I was supposed to so, try to be mysterious. At the end, Zayden and her come across Griffins and their riders at, at, after some sort of battle. And I, 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 again, at the on the tagline, it says fly or die, right? Mm. But they're called riders, not flyers. Mm. And he is actively betraying her. And he's like, look at me. Look at me. I'm actually going to interrupt what is entirely going on and being like, hey, Violet. Hey, this is important. Griffin riders are not called riders. They're called flyers. They're called Griffin flyers. Is this foreshadowing? No, he's actively betraying her and just randomly explaining to her that griffin riders are actually called griffin flyers. They're, they're <laughs> dragon riders? They are dragon riders and they are griffin flyers. So you either griffin or die. <laughs> the whole book's been about dragons. Yeah. Alright. Shouldn't it just, shouldn't it say ride or die on the front if you are a griffin flyer? Maybe that's, maybe that's trademarked. By what? Fast and furious? <laughs> 
Fast and Furious Dragon Drift. I feel like when you're riding a griffin, it looks more like riding than flying. I mean, I know they fly. I guess so. But yeah. Like, yeah. I, 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 I see your point. Yeah. I don't know. I just, it, this should say ride or die. Yeah. And it doesn't. Awkwardly. And have a picture of Dominic Toretto. <laughs> right on, like this with a dragon. <laughs> I don't got dragons, I got family. <laughs> <laughs> he randomly explains to her while he while the griffins are showing up and she's like, what the fuck is going on? He's like, hey, by the way, griffin riders are actually called griffin flyers. And it was so weird. I stopped and rewinded it. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is he saying this right now? Who fucking cares? He's been working with griffin flyers, shocking nobody except Violet because she's so stupid. Like, I don't know how she didn't see this coming. How, do we, how does this dragon feel about it? I feel like that's important to know. We don't know. So dumb. Yeah. So Excuse she me. passes out or something. And but I made it. To, bro. Yeah. Well, she's got no choice. Because they can't be away from each other for very long. Those two dragons. So she's stuck with Zayden the rest of her life. Wow. Yeah. Inconvenient. <laughs> and that sucks. We're gonna have to oh, no. Guess we're going to have to. Guess we're going to have to chain the man. Friend it up. She passes out at some point. Wakes up. Her brother is there. And he's like, hey, welcome to the resistance. The end. They all have mommy issues, huh? I all meant like I meant like her family. Yeah, but that's never explored. There's so many good things, like so many good like po uh, like plot points, just poorly executed. She didn't do anything fun with yeah. it. It was really stupid. Like having the, a sibling in the resistance when you're in, that's cool as fuck. If there, it's done right. I wish that there had been more hints at that. I wish that there had been, and I I wish that she had like conflict with like feeling like okay, one of my siblings is very much for the empire and one of my siblings is very much was very much not mm -hmm. and being like i wish i could talk to what is his name brayden i don't fucking know we're gonna call him brayden i wish i could talk to brayden but she can only talk to i forget her sister's like my, name too kind of like my favorite book my best friend is all for the empire yes but my girlfriend over here yes is pretty much the leader of the resistance yeah that's what i like yeah. elias's conflict feeling like he's in between yeah uh, stop it to hear she don't miss. Saba Tahir does not miss. She She's the greatest miss. of all time. And I just wish that Rebecca Yaros had taken a page from Saba Tahir's literal books. Well, not like copy pasting. I don't need another one of those. <laughs> It didn't do anything. Like, all it was was... A bunch of cool shit executed a, poorly. A bunch of cool shit that we never really did anything with. Like, the religion, I didn't even need to tell you about it because it's completely moot. Politics, I don't really they understand don't have, it. like, a weird re religious zealot that's starting to... I don't really that understand... That has its own agenda? I don't... I, it says at one point that the dragons <clears throat> don't recognize their puny gods. I don't really understand what the... It's because their gods are dragon gods, so they're bigger. But, like, then why don't the dragons enslave the humans? You know what I mean? Why don't the dragons make them worship them yeah. I, d I don't understand i don't get it like literally if the dragons feel like they're treated poorly they could just go hit up the griffins and be like yo these guys are here suck let's just go wreck their shit and live in unit like <laughs> live together and i don't feel like the dragons get much out of it like i i don't really understand what the dragons get out of it at all they have their own dragon land and so somehow... they die if they don't bond with somebody or something no they that, don't that would, that, that would make sense no they, they don't themselves to this. they don't ever find out like what kind of signet power a human would get if a human so the humans are still benefiting the only ones more. benefiting yeah <laughs> with the powered up pen and they're all white <laughs> and most of them are white yeah, yeah crazy <laughs> just benefiting off of other people's labor you're not wrong <sighs> So that's it. That was Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. That was good. Just uh, remember, it's very important that you know that griffin riders are actually called flyers. Mm -hmm. It's very important. And dragon flyers are actually called riders. Yeah, ride or die. Ride or die. <laughs> Rough riders. What do you think will happen in the sequel? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, Shell that drags. Sequel predictions. They're gonna get married. You went the wrong way. <laughs> Immediately. No. They can't be enemies. They can't be. They can't. Far away. They they can't be far away from each other. So they can't. She's joining the resistance. She's joining the resistance, and she might have to For pretend that she's. Rap steel. She, they will continue to experience dragon horniness. Yep, surrounded by griffins. <laughs> flyers, and they're flyers. Yeah. Uh, by the way, there's something called an intrinsic in this world. It never comes up except for what once. What the hell is that? I don't fucking what know. What does that even mean? Mind reader, I guess. Oh. I don't. I, they get killed immediately. Terrible. It's it's real bad. It has pretty pages though. You can resell it. I wrote all the fuck up in it. I can't resell yeah, it. It's now increased in value. Does anybody want my book full of notes that say, yeah, this doesn't make sense? 
let me know. I would. Does anything about this war college make sense to you? No. I mean, the rule where you can't be in groups just is the dumbest thing ever. Uh, Especially I, if you're trying to build a military. Imagine a, a bunch of infantry that don't know each other. They're just gonna fucking shoot each other by mistake. I just... How and why do you, did they have an infantry? Why do they have an infantry? What the hell are you gonna do against the griffin? Exactly. You're gonna get your face eaten. If you are just gonna recycle cadets, why don't you just throw them in the infantry? <clears throat> why they gotta die? Yeah, why they gotta fall off a bridge? <laughs> Why don't you issue them I feel like they're. Boots? I feel like they have a severe retainability issue, probably never meeting their enlisting, enlistment numbers because, I mean, they're all dying. I, I just, how, if you, what happens if the they all die? Numbers, it's like, man, we just, we recruited like 10 grand. Only 4,000 4, made it. They recruited 300 and only 100 made it. It's insane. It, it doesn't make any sense. You can't find them another job? There's three other factions. Well, there's no point in having an infantry, so. What is the point of the infantry? Thank you. What is the point of that? Ah! I just feel like they could have, I don't know, maybe some police? Police! Do they have any police? Then, I don't know. Then, like, then they can maybe stop murdering each other? What? I, I just don't understand, like, how is that the best option for them figuring out who, like, the weak links and the liabilities are? Uh, what if you just have one guy that's just a savage and kills people in their You're football? not allowed to kill people in their sleep. Oh, what if he's just a savage and he's just, like, walking in the cafeteria one day and just starts snapping, like, random people's necks? You absolutely can do that. I'm saying. And it's like, oh, we had one graduate this year. He <laughs> killed everyone. His name's Mike. <laughs> <laughs> like, prison Mike's the only one that ate it. <laughs> Congratulations, Mike. And he goes up and he's like, there's actually two of us. And then he puts a hat on and he's like, I'm Dave Mike. <laughs> nice to meet me. Nice to meet me. <laughs> oh, no. It just, <clears throat> it could have been so cool if there were rules. And like at the end, if, if like, if, if they had to fight and, and, you know, it, like one person has to die, maybe, I guess it would sort of make sense. Look, we only got 10 dragons. <laughs> <laughs> they have 100 dragons and they had 171 recruits. So 71 people are either going to go to another job go to another we job we don't have to kill them maybe one or two die by mistake but that's it and i like dragon just eats eats one of them i don't know I also like incinerates them how many people are in the other and land for, for the love of god kill a main character <laughs> Holy shit. So, Why is everybody so scared? The the character that gets killed, his name is Liam, and he just showed up, like, it, it, in the first 14 chapters, he never shows up. He just, he shows up, like, two-thirds of the way in, and then he's dead by about here. So it's just, like, you get a little bit with Liam, but, like, don't forget that, like, pages and pages of this are them having sex. So, like, mm. we're not really hanging out with Liam all that much. It's mostly just meaningless death, which just sort of feels like the whole book. Like, why did you do so much meaningless death? Only for Brayden, her brother, to actually be alive, which his death, of course he was still alive. Yeah. The way that they explained that was so stupid. He he just needed to get away from his mom. He, he literally just had mommy issues yeah. and needed to get the fuck out. Like my mom's a fascist. I need to do something to fake my death. <laughs> Well, it was him and another guy. I don't remember his name. We'll call him Nick. Him and another guy. The other guy, the black dragon, Tirnanok, that was his dragon, mm -hmm. Nick's dragon. His signet power was siphoning power and redistributing it. See, that's helpful. Yeah, but I don't know what power means. So like Brayden died. It says that he tried to siphon the life force and he couldn't and Nick also died. Mm. So... <laughs> Right. Yes. And Nick must actually be dead because Taranak is no longer bonded with him. But Brayden didn't, so it's kind of like a big fuck you to Nick. Yeah. So the resistance is a thing, and in the next book, I guess we'll have Violet joining the resistance with her dragon. <laughs> Having, well, assumedly her dragon is already part of the resistance because his, his wife, his dragon wife is already part of it, right? Well, they're they're just going to feed her the uh, liberal propaganda to Absolutely. get her to rebel. Yeah, they're going to make her watch Hassan Piker. Hassan Piker and read the Communist Manifesto and then she'll be significantly <coughs> changed and yep. she'll be, she'll be uh, joining Antifa. She'll be one of those starch Marxists. Yeah, potato starch Marxists. Yeah. Yeah. And then she'll join them. Mm -hmm. Willingly. Sign her life away. With her gigantic dragon and her cat dragon. Don't forget about the kitty cat. What's that been doing? <laughs> um, lying around. Does it ever get horny? <laughs> Not that I'm aware of, but I would love to understand if, like, she's if, just double horny. If like, they're all bonded, both of them? if they're all bonded, is that dragon getting? But that's a baby, by the way. It, it turns out the feather tails are just babies. Oh, so why'd you let me say all that? I don't. I forgot. I forgot that it was a Cut baby. That. But who knows? Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's off somewhere powering pens. One would hope. 
<laughs> Anything goes. Okay, that was Fourth Wing by we, Rebecca Yaros. We fell my pen. Get your dragon to do it. Okay, that was Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros, as told by me to Carlos, who has never read it. Do you think you're interested in reading it now? No. I wasn't interested before. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. Thanks, uh, I already said thanks for watching. Do you want to say bye? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to force you at gunpoint to be here today. Yeah, you okay. couldn't, not even in my sleep. <laughs> you know what I would force you with? A powered up pen. I teach the cat. Click, click. <laughs> refill my pen, my Sharpie S7. I'm just saying that Violet Sorengill's dragon is out here helping her power up pens, and these fucking cats don't do anything except make me scoop their litter and box. And fight. And fight. I don't even scare off the squirrel. Maybe Rebecca Yaros has a point after all. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Hello, it's me, Trash Can Rachel, and I have to say thank you for being a friend to my therapy bulls patrons, and those are Alexander, Alicia, Allie Magpie, Amanda M, Ashley B, Bubble C, Cami, Chris, Chrissy, Claire, Des Roberts, DJ Roctopus, Emperor's New Blues, Eric, Faror, Harley, Jack and Jill, John E, Casey McKenzie, Kate W, Caitlin, Kelly K, Quinn, Lady Kittybug, Lex, Molly, Alice, Peggy Lou, Rain, Reese, Samar, Scarlet, Shiny, SMK. Thank you all so much for being a friend. And before I go, I have to say thank you for being a friend to my Potato Search Marxist patrons. And those are Am Angel, Amanda, Andy, Angelica, Anita, Artie the Ninth, Ashley H, Aubrey P, Ava, BB, Beck, Blythe, Bookish Barbie, Bookish Brain Rot, Ray, Bree, Caitlin, Carlin, Cassandra, Catherine, Kathy, Chris, CJ, Cole, Colleen, Corwin, Corey, Darren, Deborah, Diet Goth, Dorian, Dorotea, Ebby, Elise, Ember, Emily A, Emily L, Emma, Aaron, Grace, Gracie, Hannah C, Hannah T, Harpy Kiro, Hello there, darling. Ilianaka, India Inks, JM Tenet, Jackal All Trades, Jay is on Olympus, JT, Jen with two N's, Jennifer, Jenny, Jillian, Jules, Kaylee, Kat, Katya, Kayala, Kendra, Kylie, Laughing Cat Dog, Laura, Lauren B, Library of Scars, Lisa B, Liz Cardigan, Luna Moth, Lustful Octopus, Martin, Marquita, Maz, Malara, Meow Meow, James, Nat, Natalie M, Never, Nicole G, Nicole R, Nyan Binary, Page E, Page P, Fox Glove, Pixel Stars, Puratheon, Rachel B, B, Raquel, Rat Sarah, Reba, Rebecca, Ren, Robin, Rowan, Other Rowan, Sicoria, Sadie, Samantha, Sammy, Sarah H, Sarah the Bear, Scarlett, Shanae, Shannon, Shayna, Sheena K, Sean, Sierra, Stephanie, Talia, Three Old Dogs, Tina, Toast, Trash Can, Teddy, Taito Phoenix, Valentine, and Writer A. Thank you all so much for being a friend. Ooh.